today we will discuss about how to take a backup from on premise virtual machines okay visible alla okay so for that we have to use one service uh, the service name is recovery service vault okay uh, consider this is my on premise server and i'll be have multiple virtual machine over here right okay so this is my azure account and uh, this is my service recovery what is the service name recovery recovery service vault let me just call it as recovery service vault the recovery mail ne da edan idin ne recovery uh like files and folders okay now you can see that this is my azure account and this is my on premise data center okay so uh, what i will do here so what about the data i have in my virtual machine virtual machine 1 and virtual machine 2 and virtual machine 3 so this all virtual machine will be have uh, files and folders right so i i will be have some critical data or critical data point over there see whenever i am uh, storing the data so definitely i have to expect like uh, the data termination data violation all right so suppose if i deleted the data from my virtual machine okay then i need to back up the data right okay so for that we have to use azure reservice vault or recovery service vault okay so first i'll create a virtual machine in my on premise for that i will use my account number 2 okay so i have a two account so this is uh, uh, like uh, uh, ragil account so i will use ragil account for my azure account and i have one azure account sandbox so this i will use my on premise okay two accounts two different uh, azure accounts okay so i'll create the virtual machine on my sandbox account and i will create azure recovery service vault in ragil account so both are different account both are isolated okay any doubt no so what i will do here first i'll create a virtual machine over here uh, then i'll create a service vault service vault already i created i'll show you that so later i'll install mars agent so can anyone tell what is a mars agent mars agent microsoft azure recovery service agent okay what is a maps m a b s agent maps agent microsoft azure backup server okay see uh, actually we can what happened like uh, uh, you were attending my class and after uh, i tried ccna and uh, this adam ps okay then i noticed like oh, that guy actually absent <laughs> i think shifted to security okay okay fine, fine. i thought it was that is better huh? okay no issue no issue no for me to understand okay okay fine okay someone want to join okay uh, so uh, the same as i'll do i'll create a virtual machine on my on premise so on premise data center then i'll create my recovery service vault in my azure okay so i need to install mars agent on my on premise uh, data center virtual machine so i can use some automation tool suppose i have a multiple uh, virtual machines okay and as well as i'll go to my recovery service vault then i will register this uh, old virtual machine over there so let me do in action first okay so before we need to do some additional configuration because uh, i have my azure cloud and as well as i have my on premise cloud right see both are different and both are isolated as of now i need to make it integrate right so for that i need to use a mars agent microsoft azure recovery service agent then i will uh, install all the validation tokens and all so i will integrate any mars agent use it and upon files and folders will back up it on premise okay so uh, first i'll go to my uh, on premise account in the sense my sandbox account okay so here you can see that so here you can see that this is my sandbox account right see cloud user p so this is my linux academy sandbox account this is a different account if i come to my chrome browser you will be able to find my uh, another account over here see poly joseph new right so this is another account so this this i will consider this azure account as my azure account okay this is my azure account and uh, uh, this edge azure account i'll consider as my on premise account okay so first i'll go to virtual machine then i'll create a virtual machine so if any doubt please let me know i'll go to my virtual machine i'll create a windows virtual machine over here so select your resource group uh, come down then select your uh, region so wherever you select in the region the same region you have to select uh, when you select the service vault as well okay so i selected us east so then virtual machine name i'll call it as uh, windows come down so we have to select experiencing authentication portal 
so we have to select our windows server 2022 data center so i'll call it as ashik 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 at the rate one two Then I'll create this virtual machine. So has anybody have any doubt? Like the concept? Hmm? Any doubt? <coughs> so this is my on premise. So I'll mention once again. Okay. See, this is my on premise, my data center. Okay. Okay. So here I consider my sandbox, sandbox account as on premise and this is my cloud account okay in cloud account actually we have a pre built in service provided by azure so that is called recovery service vault okay so i can recover the files folder sharepoint and those kind of like disk i can back up by the help of this recovery service vault so either i can take a backup from virtual machine or on premise virtual machine or i can uh, select my uh, like files and folders uh, or else i can select uh, virtual machine everything I can select by the help of recovery service vault even I can select SQL as well <coughs> Okay Any doubt Let me create this virtual machine validation successfully passed. I'll create this virtual machine deployment in progress uh, once my server is a spin up then i'll try to go to my uh, cloud cloud server or my uh, recovery service vault in my azure cloud uh, then uh, i will uh, add the server into my azure recovery service vault okay for so first let me create this server first i can see that my virtual machine that is spinning up so once it creates then i'll go to my recovery service vault so in this scenario we will do on premise okay so we have to like remember the agent name mars agent and maps agent okay okay so now you can see that uh, my server successfully created i'll go to my server so then i'll check my server is available or not i'll go to my reset password you can see that the vm agent is either unavailable so we have to wait at least two to three minutes because see with the windows machine so when you're creating a windows machine that will take around two to three minutes to spin up okay but when you come to ubuntu or linux based systems so that will spin up within a couple of seconds so once it's ready, then uh, you can just go to your virtual machine. You can fire up, no problem. But Windows that will take at least four minutes. Uh, like uh, when I attend last interview, actually I was I was getting the same question. So how long it will take to spin up a Windows virtual machine? Okay, so it will take minimum four to five minutes. Okay. So once it's available, we can download the RDP client. Uh, then we can connect to our Windows virtual machine. Let's refresh. So my windows machine is now available it seems so I'll do one thing I'll wait one more minute then I'll try to connect okay subscription load issue so let me go to overview connect RDP keep so let me try to connect my uh, virtual machine now so if it is not working I'll try to change my password ashik 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 at the rate 1 2 3 ashik ashik at the rate 1 2 3 okay no, it's not working so we have to change our password so go to reset password and it's change it. available 
So let's update our password. Okay. So once it updated, again, 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 I'll go to my RDP session. Then I'll try to connect myself. Okay. So it will take one to two minutes. So we have to wait. Okay. And it's very important. You can put in your resume as well. Okay. So how to take backup of your on-premise virtual machine. Okay. That is very important. Because if you want to take backup of your Azure Cloud Virtual Machine, so that is literally simple. We have an option over there and we can take. But if you want to take on-premise Virtual Machine uh, backup, and uh, so th for that actually we have to do uh, like... Uh, Azure Virtual Machine backup on uh, We have an option over here. Directly we can take because uh, all Azure... Eh? Uh, so that we already done like uh, last day itself. Uh, I'll show you. Once again I'll show you that. Okay, now you can see that my password successfully passed, right? I'll go to my RDP client again. Uh, I'll type my new password. Hello, hello, wait, 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 wait. Let me try. Okay, so now I'm able to access my virtual machine, right? I'll try to connect this virtual machine first. And uh, so you have to understand this is my second account, right? So this is my second account. This is not my first account. Okay, because uh, I'll use my recovery agent in which account? Rankil account. Okay, exactly. This is my sandbox account. See, Linux Academy production account. This is my account number two. And uh, so in my cron browser, I have one more account. See, Poly Joseph. No. So here I'm going to use my recovery service world, this service. Okay, you can see that backup Ashik. Okay, I've been already created a recovery service world backup Ashik, and you can create a recovery service world by the help of this button create a backup service. Okay, so I will just click backup Ashik. Okay, so here we have an option backup, right? Okay, so I'll click backup. So backup goal we have to switch. So now you can see that Azure and virtual machine. Okay, see suppose if you want to take backup of your Azure virtual machine, see, you have to select Azure and virtual machine. Okay, suppose if you want to take backup of your on-premise, then what do you have to do? Eh? You have to go, I have to select over here on-premise. Okay, you have to select on-premise over here, then you have to select files and folders. See, you can take backup of files and folders and hyper virtual machines and VMware virtual machines and MySQL uh, virtual machines uh, like uh, SharePoints. So uh, actually we have a bunch of options over here. We can select either one or else we can select every, every, every. We can, we can do that. We can. Okay. See, suppose if you want to take backup of SharePoint, then you have to use Maps agent. Okay. But if you want to take files and folders. Mars agent exactly okay so we have to use Microsoft Azure recovery service agent so that's the difference of maps and Ma Mars not only that actually we have uh, some more agent as well so we'll discuss that in later okay so now I'll select files and folders because I want to back up my files and folders okay so once you select this files and folders then we have an option of prepare infrastructure so I'll select prepare infrastructure Okay, so we will be get one link to download our Mars agent and as well as we have, we will be get one uh, default key as well. So, so this is the access key and secret access key of our uh, like uh, recovery service world. Okay, so I'll, I'll uh, keep this default now. Then I'll go to uh, my main account. Okay. So this is my server account, right? I'll go to my server first. Then first step, what I'm going to do here, I'll go to my local server. So first, so on local server, we have an option over here, IE enhances security configuration. This is optional. option and see, uh, if you off this, you'll be, you won't, we won't be get any like pop up or error message or warnings. Okay. So better we can off this. Okay. So while do, while you doing this and all. So I'll off this off, off, then okay. Okay. So now successfully I off the configuration. So I close this. So then I'll open my Edge browser because we need to install Mars agent, right? That's what. 
I will install, I will open my Edge browser. Okay. So first step is uh, I need to install Mars Agent. So before I need to download some image, then I will keep this image in my image directory. Okay. Because once I delete my image, I need to back up, right? I need to demonstrate that so on. I'll go to uh, continue without this data and confirm start browsing. So I'll select image. Hello world. Image. Okay. Hello world image. Okay. I'll open this image. Just open this image. So let's see. Uh, we have an option save images, right? I'll select save images. Then I will select my downloads or pictures. I'll select my pictures. Okay. So listen. So uh, now you have to understand. So I am I'm, I'm going to manually downloading one picture, right? O I P J P E G. Same. So I'll download one more picture. So select and save image. And this is my image two. And this is my image three. So I have three images now, right? Okay, same. Then successfully I downloaded. I'll go to my Windows. Okay, this is my picture directory, and I'll go to my picture. You can see that I have a three files over here, right? So as of now, I didn't back up these images or objects, right? So I need to back up these images. For that, I need to install Maps Maps Agent first. I'll go to my uh, browser again. I'll go to my recovery service vault first. Where is my recovery service vault? Ragilakon, Poli, Joseph, New, right? So here I created my recovery service vault. So I'll copy this link. You can have an option, copy link address. I'll go to my uh, sandbox account, virtual machine account. I'll go to my edge browser, then I will paste over here. Paste, then end. So Mars agent installing, right? So once it install, then I'll try to run this, open a file. Okay, so it is installing. So let's wait. Microsoft Azure Recovery Service Agent Center. Okay, see both, see st still you have to remember both are different, different account. Okay, not in a same account. So virtual machine I'm using in a different account and recovery service I'm using in a different account. Next. So here we have to use, yes, uh, use a Microsoft update when I check updates. Okay, next. So select install. So that is going to install now. So once it installed, we need to uh, allocate one credential. The credential will be uh, able to download from our service vault. Okay, recovery service vault. Let's see. So copying new files, one directory, nine, say six. Okay. So it will take uh, maybe one to two minutes maximum. So successfully installed, now it's waiting. Please wait. Okay, now you can see that successfully I installed my Mars agent. What is the full form of Mars agent? Microsoft Azure Recovery Service Agent. Exactly. I'll go to Proceed Registration. Okay, you have to click Proceed Registration. So now you can see that Vault Credential, right? See, I don't have any Vault Credential as of now, right? We don't have. So we have to download this credential from our which account? Ragil account or my second account okay, or my recovery service vault wherever installed. So in that account, I'll be get one vault or key credential. So I have to copy over, paste over. Okay. So first I'll go to my Windows directory. So this is my Windows directory. I'll go to my uh, downloads. Okay. I have a Mars agent over here. Then I will minimize this page. Uh, I'll go to my uh, Poly Joseph account and we have an option over here. Download a vault credential to register the server to the vault, right? So I'll click download. So you can see that successfully I uh, downloaded backup vault credential, right? I'll open my download directory, go to download. So then I'll copy this backup ashik uh, this vault directory. I, I will I'll copy this file first, okay? Just copy this, see? Same as we can uh, just click right button, then copy this file, okay? I'll go to my RDP session again, then I will paste over here paste and you can see the file will be available over you Re, right so file is available I'll go to my uh, Mars agent again so click browse so we have to select the file I'll go to my download so you can see that backup ashik Tuesday right uh, sorry Thursday I'll select open so vault credential is applied you can see that automatically it is applied backup ashik what is the vault name 
Backup asks, see if I go to my Ragil account again, you can see that my wall credential uh, name, what is it? Backup Back asks, automatically it's allocated over there, right? So automatically it's filled. So I, I know need to mention that and as well as you can see that region East US automatically it is allocated and subscription identify and vault credential expire. So I'll click next. So now we have to enter one passphrase over here and that should be 16 characters. We can put any value. So I'll put Ashik. Ashik, Ashik 1, okay, 16 characters, same as we have to confirm that, Ashik, Ashik, Ashik 1, so 3 times Ashik then 1, so we have to store this passphrase, so we can protect our, uh, like, uh, uh, this backup service, that should be used in passphrase, same as a multi-factor authentication, okay, so I'll select my browse, so now I need to uh, save this file on my uh, Ashik directory, in Ashik directory, I have an option document, right? I will save this passphrase in document directory, okay? Then finish. Okay, yes. So, registering the service with the Microsoft Azure Backup. So, once it completes the registration, then I will try to backup my image folder, okay? So, so this, this server is going to backup all the files and folders to my Microsoft service world. Then I will manually go to that folder, then I will delib deliberately I will remove all the files. Okay, so once I delete the file, then I will recover the file. So that I'm going to demonstrate over here. Okay, so let it complete first, registering the server with the Microsoft Azure Backup. So if any doubt, you can ask right now, if any doubt. Anybody have any doubt? Mibin, any doubt? Shazul? Yes, yeah, sir, yes, sir. Where are you? I think he's not available. No, okay. No, Asif says he doesn't know. What happened? So where are you lagging? Then I can reiterate once again. What's the problem? As if it's possible you can speak like so rather than you texting. Okay, fine. Uh, let me go to my uh, RDP session again. So you can see that successfully I installed my Mars agent. See, and one more thing, warning: storing the passphrase locally can lead to passphrase loss due to deletion. Right? ransomware as attacks and all so i'll close this so automatically it will launch my backup service okay. so now you can see that successfully i opened my backup backup service so first we have to schedule the backup so we have an option on right side schedule the backup i'll click schedule backup uh, so then uh, i'll select next then we have to add items. Actually, what is the folder name? Like uh, where I kept all the files and folders, images. What is the folder uh, destination? Tell. So in C, in C, in C, I have a users, right? So in users, I have a directory name. What is the directory name? What is the directory name? Pictures, right? So you can see that the pictures are uh, folder over here, right? So this is the directory, right? So I'll just uh, select these pictures, only this particular directory. Then I will click OK. Uh, then add items. Okay, successfully I added picture document or picture uh, like this directory over here. So I'll click next. Okay, next. Only the pictures. Only the pictures. Okay, as of now. So we have to select manually. We have to select that. Automatically. So I'll click next. Next. Uh, then finish. Okay, so now it is going to back up my end directory in the sense that which directory I selected explicitly. So that directory has going to back up. See, you have successfully created a backup schedule. Okay, now I created a backup schedule. I didn't create any backup now. Okay, so I'll click close. Okay, then we have to click backup now. So right now I, I want to execute backup. So what I'm going to do here, I'll just click backup. So uh, then we have to select files and folders because we already learned. So Mars agent we're going to use for what? For what purpose? To recover files and folders, right? If you want to recover uh, like uh, uh, SharePoint and all maps, okay? M-A-B-S. So next, so we have to select 14 read. 
then next and you can see that oh excuse me so then click backup okay now you can see that uh, my file is back up it's, it's, it's already started see taking snapshot of your volume right okay taking snapshot of volume so once it complete then I'll go to my uh, picture directory then I'll remove the files from there okay so let me do that first once it complete then I'll do that preparing store storage so it might be 16 M 16 MB or like a 13 MB maximum this is not a schedule I'm not going to schedule time we can schedule for example every day one o'clock or every, every day two o'clock so how many time you want to do for example every every minute you want to do so that also we can configure over here okay so now you can see that total uh, data transfer complete 16.19 mp right so this will take this this already took one uh, like uh, storage snapshot okay so now you can see the job completed i'll click i'll close this okay so successfully i complete i'll go to my uh, image directory i'll go to image directory so this is my picture directory right i'll remove this first for that i'll go to my image so select all images and delete i deleted all images right okay so then i'll go to my this pc okay now you can see that i have a windows c and windows temporary disk d right i don't have any other disk only have a two disk am i right okay i'll go to my backup store a uh, backup uh, server again so we have an option over here recover data what is it recover that i've been already created a schedule then i backed up my all the data so then i am going to recover the data right now so click recover data so next next so we have to select one volume i'll select my c volume uh, then now you can see that see all this available backup see i've been already took one backup like couple of seconds ago right so the information popped up over here i'll select the same mount so now what i'm going to do here so automatically it will mount one file system or uh, like a local disk okay automatically it will mount we, we know that now i have a two local disk right what is the local disk name cn cn temporary right so when i'm when i'm taking backup automatically it will mount one local disk so and we will be able to find all the files and folders over there let's see so once it completes see recovery volume f has been mounted automatically it's mounted one more volume f uh, i'll go to browse or else i can unmount so what i'm going to do here i'll go to my uh, windows machine again so now you can see that one more disk or one more local disk has been mounted right okay ഇതിൽ <laughs> 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 right and this is on premise backup see i created two accounts and two accounts i have a one in one account i have a virtual machine and in one account i have a service vault right see so this is my on premise account and i'll consider my sandbox account as my on premise account and this is my azure ragil account right ragil account i'll consider as my azure account so what i done now i created virtual machine windows virtual machine then i installed mars agent for that i went to my azure recovery service vault so there i selected on premise backup then virtual machine so i got one link to download uh, mars agent then i copy pasted over there then i downloaded recovery service vault key then i pasted over there then finally i backed up my all the images and folders whatever the files i have right so that i didn't tell now any doubt any doubt hmm? no it's quite simple if any doubt please let me know uh, I can repeat once again. Any doubt? Chain of Kita? Chain of Kita? Chain of Kita? I don't know. 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 ലോക്കൽ സിസ്റ്റത്തിൽ നമ്മൾ കുറച്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് 
ഫയർവാൾ കുറെ ഇഷ്യൂസ് വരുന്നുണ്ട് അതാണ് ആക്സസ് ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റാത്തത് അത് കുറച്ച് കാര്യങ്ങൾ ചെയ്യാനുണ്ട് നമ്മളെ നല്ല ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും ബൈ ഡിഫോൾട്ട് ഡിനേ ഡിനേ ചെയ്യുന്നതല്ല ചെയ്യാൻ പറ്റും നമുക്ക് നമ്മൾ അതിന്റെ ബെനിഫിറ്റ് ഇല്ലേ സോ വി ക്യാൻ മൗണ്ട് ലോക്കൽ സിസ്റ്റം നോട്ട് ഓൺലി ലോക്കൽ സിസ്റ്റം ലൈക്ക് എനി അതർ വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ സപ്പോസ് ഐ ഹാവ് എ വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ ഇൻ മൈ ഐഡബ്ലിസ് അക്കൗണ്ട് സോ ഐ ക്യാൻ കോപ്പി പേസ്റ്റ് ഓവർ ദി ഐ ക്യാൻ മൗണ്ട് ഓവർ ദി ദാറ്റ്സ് പോസിബിൾ സെയിം സ്റ്റോറേജ് സെയിം സ്റ്റോറേജ് ആണ് വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ ഞാൻ അതെല്ലാം നോക്കി രണ്ട് വെർച്വൽ മെഷീൻ ക്രിയേറ്റ് ചെയ്യുന്നു ഓപ്റ്റിമൈസ് മെന്റ് ലോക്കൽ നോക്കി പക്ഷേ ലോക്കൽ ഇതാവുന്നില്ല മറ്റേ രണ്ടും ആവുന്നുണ്ട് സോ വാട്ട് ഇസ് എ ഫെയിൽ ഓവർ പ്രതി ഫെയിൽ ഓവർ ഓർ നോട്ട് എ ഫെയിൽ ഓവർ സൈഡ് റിക്കവറി no idea okay anyway take your notes and note it on the steps how to create a uh, like a backup of on premise server backup okay take a backup of on premise server steps take a backup of on premise server by the help of recovery service vault take a backup of on premise server by the help of recovery service vault 